If you want to know what Trump campaign staffers think about you, just watch Fox News, like this weekend, when they gushed over Donald Trump's new ploy for money. A limited edition series of gaudy gold $400 Trump sneakers. And like they always do on Fox, somebody said the quiet part out loud on what the big sneaker strategy is really all about. Even the sneaker thing. I was on social media last night. Very interesting. As you see black support eroding from Joe Biden, this is connecting with black America because they love sneakers. They're into sneakers. They love the, you know, this is a big deal, certainly in, in the inner city. So when you have Trump roll out his sneaker line, they're like, wait a minute, this is cool. He's reaching them on a level that defies and is above politics. The culture always trumps politics. And Trump understands culture like no politician I've ever seen. Seriously? Why didn't I think of this when I ran the RNC? Let's see. Black folks love sneakers, and we can paint them gold. This, this can't miss. Trust me, it's a big miss. And they ugly as hell. Angela Carason watches a lot of Fox as the president and G CEO of Media Matters for America, and he joins me now. $400 kicks? <laughs> gold? Are they really this cynical over there at Fox? Yeah, and, you know, this same guy, uh, about a year ago when Trump's mugshot came out, said that black people can, quote, relate to Donald Trump now and that it was actually going to increase his black support because he had, quote, street cred. Oh, um, this is yes. the same guy. Yeah. So, yeah. in some way, this is not just a one-off. This is part of a pattern from, from him and, and Fox News more broadly. Uh, it just, uh, yeah, you know, the mugshot, yeah, I guess that works for us, too. Um, we're used to seeing Fox do these types of things. We're used to seeing them demonize minorities and sort of play up the sort of racial angle on these things. Um, it gets worse each time, though, seemingly. It, their audience really sucks this stuff in and just sort of takes it and goes, yeah, that's this will work. Black people will now follow Donald Trump and because they'll get a pair of sneakers? Yeah, it's weird because they, they, they tend to have it both ways. Most of the time, they're demonizing black people, right? Um, so just a few weeks ago, they actually blamed the 737, the, the Boeing door that right. popped out. They blamed that on Boeing allowing too many black people to work on airplanes. That was a, not just one Fox News show. That was an entire day of Fox News coverage. Amazing. That was an argument that they made, and their audience completely consumed it. And that's a reflection of what they say to them every day. But then they have these one-offs where they actually get excited about the idea and this false narrative um, that somehow Trump is capturing, you know, a, a, all sorts of people across the country, that it's not just limited to his MAG support base. So, so here's some racist narratives Fox passed along just off the top of my head. Birtherism, uh, Obama phones, migrant caravans, stealing jobs. Uh, they just had to apologize for a live broadcast showing the guardian angels roughing up a guy uh, they said was a migrant who actually is from the Bronx. What I miss? Uh, most recently, it's uh, claims that they are uh, trying to secretly replace the national anthem. Uh, that that's a, a big part of it. That they've been sort of oh, it's sing because we sing that's uh, right. the national black and is part of okay. a larger conspiracy to dilute white Lift power. Voice that's insane. right. And it is a huge problem. And they're really worried about this because they've heard it played a lot more regularly, and they think there's some conspiracy going on. Um, they tie them into the to, the to the sort of the larger white genocide great replacement theory, and in sort of the Fox News world, they're they're actually the henchmen for the great powers, mostly Jewish people, that are actually helping bring in all the immigrants. They're helping perpetuate this through their sports and their culture. So those are the two big ones more recently that you've missed at Fox. I, I just... I, I, somehow, it just... It, it amazes me that people actually believe that, you know, singing the national uh, black anthem, lift every voice and sing, is threatening yeah. uh, to, to white uh, life here in America. I, I want to move on a little bit further into the into the abyss with the my pillow guy um, he uh, of election denying fame Mike Lindell used ads um, that uh, basically uh, were all over the network uh, offering five million dollars to anyone who could uh, you know go out there and, and and disprove his election fraud claims well guess what he caught the car he did uh, someone actually uh, disproved uh, his claims and yep. now He's, he's doing the backstroke and trying to get a judge to get him off the hook. Um, what's wrong here? And, 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 and what does that say that he thought he could actually get away with the big lie like that? I mean, part of it is that he got high on his own supply. 
I mean, there was a, 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 a he believed to a degree that he could sort of he could manifest this through enough resources. And why wouldn't he believe that? You know, he was spending he was Fox's single largest advertiser for years. And the result of that was just through force of will. He was able to push all kinds of nonsensical conspiracies and chicanery, not just into Fox, but into the right wing echo chamber. So he had had a track record of using his money and his resources to manifest false narratives into reality. And Trump was a conduit for that. So in this instance, he gets out there and says, nobody can prove me wrong. Five million dollars. And he just assumes that he can bluster and might, his, might, might make his right way through it. Let, let's take a little listen of Mr. Lindell. And the media is all down at that end just attacking me from around the world. But I'm welcoming it. I want to tell them, um, hey, we have to get rid of the electronic voting machines that go to paper ballots hand counted. And I do want to say, Steve, my yep. pillow... My pillow thanks all of you. We put our bathrobes on sale. 100% USA Supima cotton. The grift is always on. It is, it is. The grift is. is always on. <laughs> no matter how bad it gets, I got a grift. I mean, that seems to be the end game at the end of the day. That, yeah. you know, I've got this audience and I'm going to lie to them and they're going to give me cash. I mean, part of what's happening is that because they, as, because of what we talked about earlier, they become increasingly less commercially viable because right. of their extremism. They have to become a closed system, just like Alex Jones, right? He tells people that there's all this estrogen in the water and you have to buy these eye drops to put into your drinks that takes the estrogen out of it. It's a closed <laughs> system. And the rest of the right wing media is following suit. Lindell is just one part of that. Just one, uh, yeah, one, one part of it.